Hey guitar enthusiast, Lauren Bateman here, answering the question of, Lauren, how do I tune my guitar if I don't have a tuner? So we're gonna go over that in this guitar lesson video. Let's get to it. So I had a YouTube uh, commenter ask about this on a video of mine on how to tune the guitar. And they said, well, what if I don't have a guitar tuner? Can you show us how to tune your guitar without using a tuner? So I'm gonna show you, I have my acoustic guitar today, but you can do this on an electric guitar as well. So first let's go over kind of the cons of tuning without a tuner and, and the pros as well. So first off, a con is if you tune your guitar just to itself, it means that if you go and play with other musicians, you're probably not gonna be in tune with those other musicians. So it's great if you're alone and maybe you don't have a guitar tuner or you go to someone's house. This happens a lot of times. I go to someone's house and they have a guitar that's been sitting in the corner for like a year that they don't know how to play. And I can tune up the guitar by ear, get the guitar sounding good itself, but it may not be at the right, what we call Hertz level when we, tune our guitar. Our guitar is tuned to what we call 440 hertz. That's the A string of the guitar. You'll probably hear that if you ever heard um, an orchestra tuning up, that's the note they're tuning to. That's when you hear the violin playing. That's essentially what they're doing. They're tuning to the violinist's A. So this way everyone is working and sounding good together. So if you're gonna play with others, either tune off someone else's guitar or use a guitar tuner so that you all sound right. But if you're not playing with someone else, this technique and method will work fine. So let's get into how we're gonna do that. Now the way the guitar is strung, and this is a cool thing about the guitar, we have multiples of the same note. So for example, the fifth fret of our top E string is an A note. Well, guess what the open string below that is? A, A, A that it's the same note so if my guitar were out of tune and I'll, I'll show you in an example but I want to go through how we're gonna do it first because we have a so I would play the fifth fret on the top string and ring my a string below it the next thing would be the fifth fret on the a string is a D note and guess what the string below it is a D so you'd hear it sounds the same the string below that the D string we're also gonna play the fifth fret Okay, and that's a G note, because the third string below is a G. Hear that, how it sounds the same? Now this is where it gets a little weird because there's no B sharp. We kind of have like a little weird interval here. For the G string, we have to play the fourth fret, because that's the B note. Hear that? And then the B string, you would go back to the fifth fret, which is the E note. And that even sounds a little bit off to my ear, just a little bit. So we have the fifth fret, fifth fret, fifth fret, fourth fret, fifth fret. Hope you guys are enjoying this lesson. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to do that. Let's get back into the lesson. So what I'm gonna do is, I think my E is out just a little bit, so I'm really gonna put it out. Hear this, you're gonna hear what we call dissonance doesn't sound very good at all, right? And I always think when you're doing this, it's easier to tune below the pitch and then come up to pitch versus tuning above the pitch and coming down. I don't know why my ear works better that way, but so I'm below the pitch here. So what I'm going to try and do, there it is. See it? And that sounds much better than it did before. This means you have to work a little bit on your ear. I'm a singer, so I have a slight advantage. So I sung the pitch. And I was able to go up to pitch. For some people you have to, it's kind of like a weird thing. You have to hold the pitch, tune it, do it again. And you'll hear, and you just kind of go back and forth. There it is. You'll know because it sounds good. If it's not right, even if it's slightly off, there's like this wobble you hear between the strings. That's the dis that's the dissonance. I mean, it's close, but it's not spot on. Did you hear that? 
I don't know if you can hear it, it kind of springs into place when you get it on the right pitch. Hear it? It goes wah. Kind of like, oh, it's even still just a little bit off. Now I think I'm too high. No, no. There we go. It's just a, just a hair sharp, a hair sharp. Now, see, my air is good. I can hear that. Um, and, I, and I will admit wholeheartedly, my ear is probably one of my weakest things as a player. And my sight reading, I'm horrible at sight reading. Other than rhythm, I'm good at sight reading rhythm, but I'm horrible at sight reading. So when you first do this, is kind of the other downside to tuning your guitar open like this, is that if your ear is not good to hear the difference between those two pitches, you might be a hair sharp or a hair flat. And if you do that on each string, watch, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna just turn each of my tuning pegs just a hair. It's playable, but to someone like me, it, it, I can hear that there, this stuff is way off. Once again, to recap, top string fifth fret with the open A, and then fifth fret with the open D, fifth fret with the open G, fourth fret with the open B, fifth fret with the open E string, and that is how you tune your guitar without using a guitar tuner. And now that you know how to tune your guitar without a guitar tuner, YouTube's gonna pop a couple more lessons up over here. Go check those out. And if you're interested, I do have an online guitar course where I teach you step-by-step -step how to play guitar. So go check that out, laurenbateman.com backslash course. And I'll see you guys in another lesson video.